just want to do a review. I, I didn't do one on this uh, drill press. Um, I've had it for over two years now. Um, well, won't be too long. It'll be, as you can see, right? It'll be almost three years. Um, it is Mastercraft. Um, so, first of all, I'll just say right off the top, do I like this drill press yes and and i'll for what i use it for and there's times that i use it a lot i mean i've put tr quite a true quite a few uh drill bits through this thing you know sometimes you got a project going and it seems like you're at it the whole day is just you know using drill press with that said i'm not uh, you know, I'm not a professional fabricator and stuff. Like that. I know you get sick of hearing me say that, but I feel like it's only right for me to say, you know, I, I don't like those guys that get on there and say, oh, wow, this too and this and, and you know, you're, you're uh, acting as though, you know, you're doing this as for a living, right? I, I've seen a few guys like that on YouTube and uh, it just don't make sense. So that's, that's why I'm saying I'm not a fabricator. So I'm not, I'm not every day using drill press. Um, but, you know, when I use it, I use it. And I use it pretty hard. But, uh, so like I said, it is a Mastercraft. And the model, I got to pull down, pull down my pantyhose there. Um, and if you don't know why I have that on there, it, uh, when you're, especially woodworking and do you want your platform to zoom okay guys welcome back to the channel if you're new hit the subscribe button if you find something you like if you don't sorry i don't know but this is a um i've been i started a review and um maybe this last week 10 days ago and um, like bruce pinner upper management or the wife came and uh, told me that I had a message and we were leaving to go on a trip. And then I found out that my brother was in the hospital, probably don't have too long to uh, live. So uh, this is the first time I've really gotten a chance to finish that review. I didn't look at the video that I already had, so, you know. Bear with me here. I might repeat myself. Anyway, let's get to this. You know, as you can see, you know, it is a DeWalt. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It is a Mastercraft. I've had it for a while, as you can see. I, I usually put the date on things when I buy them. Um, so I know, you know, how long I've had them and if they were worth it. Uh, I'll try to make it quick. What can I tell you about this? Uh, I, when I do a review, I usually tell you at the end if it's, if it's worth what I pay for it. Or if I got the work that I needed out of it. So, to start with, I just, I like to tell you the little things that may annoy you and it may not annoy somebody else. Uh, sometimes... You know, there's people that uh, get annoyed, right, with, with little things. And if they knew that this was a problem, they just wouldn't buy it. Me, I don't mind little little things that I can fix or if I can make it better and make it work, you know, on a cheap product as long as it gets the job done and I don't spend a lot of money. If I was using a product for on my job or every day, you know, fabricating something then that's different i would just automatically go and buy a brand name yeah with that said i'm just going to tell you the little things that i i found with this so that when they happen to you if they happen to you if they didn't improve this then you can say yeah yeah that, you know i knew that this pulley is going to come loose on you quite a few times is it a big deal not really uh, it's an annoyance, and then all you do, you know, it's 
that's that screw. Now, I don't know if it's because the material is not thick enough to give the set screw enough holding power, right? Uh, or whatever. So I'm not going to pretend I know. But uh, just put some blue lock just right away. Put some blue Loctite on there. Tighten it up and you should be okay. This one here, it happened once. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't put any Loctite on it. Where's the? No, uh, I can't even find screw, the set screw. Whatever, the same set screw here. But this one here, you know, it'll just make a, a, a noise that you know something is wrong. So you'll come over and you'll turn this, and you'll see that it's turning the motor, no problems, and you think that it's okay. But when you move up vertically, you'll notice, oh, there's a bit of play. There you go. That's your problem. Uh, put a little um, uh, Loctite on that as well. Tighten it up. If you do that, as soon as you get it, you'll probably just not have these problems. This here, um, you might have put that in your vise and bend it. And there was, on mine, <laughs> one of the screws was missing. A screw in here was missing. I think this knob was missing. No, maybe not. I But I, I know that there was a screw for the knob missing and a screw here. Little things. Um, you know, you see the plaque there. Tells you I got mine set for 1150. That's on all models. Blah, blah. Right? Now, is it worth the money? For what I paid, I got it on sale. I'm going to have to say yes. Um, uh, might as well tell you. Because guaranteed somebody is going to be asking. You know. So this this is my uh, weekend street walking gear. Right? But uh, when, I'm, when I'm not, you know, using it, I put it over my motor here. So that... Um, because I found that uh, it was getting hot, and I, I didn't really think much of it, and and it was being plugged up here, because I, where I am, I, I'm in a, a small area, but I do everything. Uh, I I do all my grinding, I do woodwork, whatever it is, you know, s sanding, um, everything, you know, everything in one spot. So it's got a tendency, you know, to get plugged up. So I put this on. And every once in a while, you just give it a sweep, and it all falls down, and it's great. Did I show you the model in, before I got interrupted last week? Uh, I'll give you all that information. Why not, right? You know, information is key. Uh, what else? The table. The table, don't, it's not real square, so... Now, with this one... Once I raise up the height of the table, and I just, you know, so you know what I'm talking about, I'm facing this, I just give this a push to the to the right, and I tighten it down, and it seems to be, it's okay for what I want, all right? Just, just putting that out there. Um, as you can see, I built a stand for it. I don't have a lot of real estate on the bench, so it is a good bench height. If you want to, if you got, you know, a lot of space, you can set this upon your bench and it's the perfect height. Uh, what else? I mean, I grease this air, but uh, you should put uh, really thick oil, like a gear oil, um, because uh, when you crank her up, if you're in a dusty area, it sticks to the, to the grease and um, you're going to get that, it's... You know, the shaving sometimes gets, you know, it whips around when you're drilling and clicks, collects there. You know what I mean? Uh, next time I'll just wipe it off when, it, when it's due to be greased up or whatever. I'll just wipe it all off and put a thick oil on it and see how that works. Um, this here, definitely, when you get it, don't even waste time. Um, I only got two put in there. That seems to work just fine for me. Um, this here, you know, before you screw it in, put a little blue Loctite on, and because these will come loose all the time. I mean, you'll be drilling something, you'll pull on the handle, 
and the chuck will go down and bang it'll go back up again and there you are you know holding holding one of these in your hand you know standing there you yeah, know anyway so that's all i can say um regards of the product the chuck i mean you're not going to be writing home and bragging about owning this right but and it works great for me so um i like i say i i've put a lot of projects through this thing a lot of drill bits have been used in this thing <clears throat> uh so that's it that's the review for this thing uh you definitely won't be disappointed uh unless you are a fabricator <clears throat> and you use something every day you know a couple hours every day you want something better but even then i i think this thing could handle it no problem it's just for the precision it's it's not the product for precise work uh so that's it did i mention there's a late here yeah i did anyway i'm see i'm losing my mind in my old age but there is a late it's not powered but it is with the battery and it works pretty good as you can see sunlight shining in there and it's still lighting it up this don't come with it by the way i should do a review on this this is from uh princess margaret princess Otto, princess Otto, and um yeah to get this to work right there's some stuff you need anyway maybe i'll make a video on that piece of shit anyway uh, it's worth the money if you get it on sale. If it's not on sale, you know, go hash your way for some more money and uh, buy a better one. You know, um, ask your mammy, ask your pappy, whoever it is that you get your money from, go ask for more and get a brand name. If if you're like me, then it'll, it'll do the job. No problems. So, guys... Hit the subscribe if you like it. If you don't, don't be mean. Just go away. <laughs> Just go away if you if you don't like it. All right, guys. Just joking around here. But anyway, stay safe. Here in Canada, we're supposedly the honorable king of Canada is telling us that we're in a second wave. And I know that he do not tell lies. Right, guys? So, anyway, with all joking aside, COVID is not a joke, and stay safe. 